Hello everyone, this is Renee Novak with Blessed by Cards. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I am here today to share with you this sweet little strawberry card. And this sweet little set is in the mini catalog. It's a bundle. It comes with all of these great sayings, some strawberries and leaves, a few flowers, and it also has with it the coordinating punch. And I'm going to share with you a little tip on using this punch in just a few minutes. I also have an opportunity to earn the Berry Blessing, which is the sister set to the strawberries. So this card um, is a basic white card that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I took a piece of the True Love Designer Series that measures two by five and a half and layered it on the bottom. And then I just took a strip of black that is three fourths of an inch by five and a half and laid it on top to hide that seam. This particular little oval is from the new Double Oval Bundle Punch has a scalloped and a smooth, and I have a tip for you for using this particular punch as well. That is what we use to create this. So let me share with you my two tips on using these punches. I used the Stamparatus and I created um, a template. I'll show you what I mean. This is my sweet strawberry template, and I just cut a piece of white cardstock and punched out and made that little template. Now, you can put these back in the template and stamp on them if you would like. That is one option for using this kind of a template. You can actually just put them in and stamp them all at the same time and then punch them out all at once. But I really liked the use of this template when I was creating my punches for my strawberries because, as you can see, the punches are kind of close together. And so you can't just line your strawberries up in a row because you'll be punching out the neighboring strawberry. So this template's super helpful because when you ink up the strawberry you get a tiny bit of the other stamps as well and that's okay that's kind of what you want so you just have to press that down like that and as you can see you get a little mark of what's the neighboring punch so when you go to put it in your punch You can see that it is going to punch that out when you punch your strawberry. So if you had another strawberry here, you would have a bite out of it, which is kind of okay if you want that, but if you don't want a bite out of your strawberry, that's the way to do it. And for these little leaves, I punched them out. Again, I kind of lined up my paper on there and laid it over where my template is and then it's in the correct orientation for you you don't have to fiddle around with positioning it it's just kind of that's how it's going to punch out is the way you stamped it and so I'm not sure I'm going to get mine punched out evenly but there you have it and then these sweet little strawberries stems get glued on top of each other. And for our card sample, I glued two directly down to the card. And the last one I popped up on Stampin' Dimensionals. Let me share with you my tip for using the double oval. Again, I created another template. 
and just punched it out of some cardstock. And this one's really super cool because you can just stick that oval right back in. And it's all ready to go. You've already lined it up with your Stamparatus. And so you just ink up. And it's going to be right where you want it every time. And there you have it. It's a hello there. For the scalloped part, I just took a piece that was about one and three-fourths of an inch. That seemed to be what fit with the least amount of waste. I punched out that red one. Then you're just going to adhere that right on there. And then it will go directly onto your card front. Here's the card again. Here's our little pieces. And then lastly, what you'll want to do is pop up that strawberry and add some red bling around the side. We also have some really cool black matte dots which would also, I think, look good on this card. Okay, so there's that card. I just wanted to share with you another card that I created using the same stamp set. And this one is using the punched or the stamped image. This one I punched out in red cardstock and only used the outline. This one I used the actual stamp. And this is the happy birthday, you sweet thing. And I just love the red and white, how it goes together with the black. And inside, I just stamped a little image there. And then lastly, I would like to share with you, if you do like the Berry Blessing set, this is some of the paper that came with it. The bottom part in this little strip here is some of that delightful um, berry paper. And this sentiment, wishing you the very best, and the inside, you always have a way of making my day. That is also in the Berry Blessing set that you can get from the celebration event. So, I hope that you've enjoyed these cards and that that will inspire you to create something beautiful. Until next time, be blessed.